Mm -hmm. But that's far away from the food. <laughs> and you exactly. Like, okay. Simple, simple. Mm. The, when you're like this, it's easier to turn your hips, right? Well, no. We, or no. No. If you're standing square, yeah. then then you really um, this this is if you try to uh, rotate your hip, this is all you can go. No, that's your shoulder you're turning. Mm. The hip only goes this much. Do you understand? When you do that, because you're, you're actually, your, your fulcrum is in the middle, because it's not on either leg. Yeah. And, and that, that is an invisible fulcrum. <laughs> it's, you know, it's your foot is out there. Yeah. Then why golf players do that? Then why only they stand so square to the ball? No. Because they hit the That's side. why I want to teach them differently. I want <laughs> them to try something. <laughs> actually, but the other day, you told me something else. So. What? They're standing, but actually they're more on the front leg. That's what he said, yeah, you know? They are, yeah, yeah, so they're going to spin on the front leg and then they're just spinning that. Yeah, that's true, the one they thing. do stand square though. They, eh? they stand straight to the ball. The ball needs to be, um, the end of the ball, like eh? the front needs to be the ball here. This I want somebody to experiment my theory of just staying uh, on the one side. But I think, you see, when, when, you use, when you're hitting like this and you're changing your balance, your, your line of gravity, you're going your to lose yeah. Yeah. some of the force, okay? Because you, you, your body's trying to balance, because you, okay? Yeah. Now, another thing though, okay? It's different when you're uh, hitting a ball versus hitting a person, okay? So, now, yeah. what I'm trying to tell you is this, okay? This is a very good information, okay? Because if I hit a person, the force will come back to me. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is, you know, so if I hit, you know, it's gonna come back. This is why you need the back leg to, to stop. Because if I hit you and you push me, right, and I'm like this, right, if I'm, the force is pushing me back, then my force hasn't gone there. Mm -hmm. So I have to allow this. Mm -hmm. But if there's nothing, if I'm hitting a ball, I can go here, it doesn't matter, then it's good. Yeah. I get more momentum. Yeah. Do you understand? I can lose the balance, it doesn't matter. So I can go, you know, whatever it is. I can <laughs> do this. Because it's not coming back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's not too important. But when you're hitting something, there's a force coming out, then you need the grounding. You have to send that rebound force to the ground. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. say for example, you know, I, I threw the stick to uh, with the Ada. Yeah. I tried both. You know, this way and also this way. Yeah. Right? So, you're probably going to get a bit more force by doing this way, you get more body. So the boxers, they, that's what they say, right? You, you go in here. Yeah. But the problem I'm saying is that when you hit, right, that force yeah. is going to come back. So what's going to happen, if you, especially you, you balance you here, there's no ground. Because this is, this is, you know, um, uh, the force is going to come back and it's going to go behind you. So this doesn't help. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? So... It's like this here. If I want to push this thing here, I have to make sure that I have a leg that's behind this to push it. Yeah. I can't push it probably <laughs> like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, right? So this is the same problem with this, the front thing. If you go to your front, right, you don't have the strength. Yeah. Right? There's momentum, but then from here, what's going to happen? You're going to go here. So it's only arm strength. You're going to hit a guy, yeah. You could generate enough power with your, your energy and bones. You can pretty good power. But you're gonna get more power if you have a, a back leg behind it. Yeah. Then it comes right, and I can have force here. Yeah, right? I can here, I can still push the, you know, I can hit and get a force here. But not when it's here. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because this doesn't help anymore. No. Especially the closer you are, and then this is useless. Right? So, for example, you know, um, Bruce Lee fa start favoring the front. You know, that's why, you know, like this, he, yeah. he punches like this. So, yes, he's getting some, you know, momentum from here, right? So he's hitting, he can also get momentum here, right? But, you know, like, it's not going to be as strong as if it was this way, right? Versus this. 
right? Again, same. This is against this, right? So, and, and the problem is, again, like, you know, he was 32. So he would have probably, in the years he came along, he would have probably figured it out <laughs> again differently. And he started, when he learned Wing Chun, that's how he taught back leg. Then later on, he started getting into more into the boxing and, and kicking. The kicking again, he wants, of course, this is to be faster, the front leg, yeah. than the back leg. Yeah. So, you know, so yeah, he stands here, then he, this, this will give him the spring from here to, you know. He, so he transfers to the back, yeah. you know, from the front to the back. And also, he, you know, he steps this, this kind of stuff, that which we, we did in dancing Taekwondo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the dancing is all outside anyway. You can't dance from a guy like this, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> this is distance, right? Yeah. You can do whatever. It's no, no big deal. So, um, people like to talk about footwork. I'm telling you, if footwork, yeah, there's something to it, but it's not a really a big thing. Because you can fight anybody in the street. If you've never had a fight before, your foot will know how to move. <laughs> You don't need to have any kind of training that, you know, they retreat the foot, you know. Well, you don't need to to dodge. Yeah. Unless you're a slow guy, yeah. you know. Otherwise, you know, hey man, <laughs> I don't have to learn any fancy footsteps for that. Yeah. You come this time, okay. Yeah, natural. it's not it's natural, exactly. Yeah. So, so um, in Wing Chun, yeah, we have a little bit. <laughs> so... And the way I do it, I have, especially if you know uh, the second form, okay? So you really don't have time, like some of these guys are showing, you know? Going here, and then here, and then, right? Yeah. Right, from here, right? <laughs> Unless, like I said, the guy is, you know, somehow, you know, doing like this, or he got already, you know, jolted, yeah. right? And so, in Wing Chun, so if you came at me, and this, this is the most side step I'm going to do. You came, come charging already, right? Okay? Mm. So it's, it's like a front step, but as soon as it lands, I'm already out there. Mm. Okay? So it's like a jump cue. But you can't have this and this and then and this. Mm. Yeah. So you're coming here, I'm going this way already. All right? Mm. I'm turning the body and hitting you. So, but it has to be here, not this much to the side. Yeah. Right? So if... So if you step that much, I'm, you know, if you try to go all the way here, right? I follow you, right? Because I have less to turn than you. You know, you, you right? Yeah. And I just, my hand, and my whole body just turns and goes there. Okay, so let's, uh, now let's roll arms up. Stay back there, Ada. Get out of the way. With walking? Uh, no, uh, first uh, we just roll. I want you guys to just feel that rolling all the time. She knows that this is a new one. Come here, Ida. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> okay, now go back there now. Okay. Thank you. Go back there. <laughs> Sit down. Go. Go, go. No, no, no. You're in the way, right here. Sit down, yeah. Here, Ada, you like to sit here, go. Go sit there. She likes that chair, sit there, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll arms. Uh, double arm. Double arms, actually, uh, Simba, you come here. I want you to be taller than him, so it's a level. Try, okay. so he can get a feel, he gets a feel for him, because he's always going down. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, come closer, yeah. Yeah, come closer, yeah. Go. Okay, attack. Yeah. Okay, don't go into ball. You're gonna go first attack this way. Don't go. Right? Go. You. you he can't step. So you're gonna step first. Okay, stand here. It's out of distance. So you're gonna go first like that. And then you adjust yourself. Okay, let's go. Learn to step in and walk. Attack already. Okay. Just like the first uh, movement of posture two. You're gonna attack with a triangle, a wedge. Go. Step in. Yeah. Again, too early with the bong. First, try to thrust. I want you to feel him stop you before you change. Go. No. 
You went for the fuck. I want you to attack him. Spear him. Go for his neck. Spear him. That's it. Yeah, good. Now you're good. Get, get, adjust yourself there. The feet. Square. Square off there. Okay, Celine. Okay, same. You stand there. Okay, stand here. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if the camera's catching them. Kind of. Okay. Don't move your shoulder for that, uh, Simba. Yeah, it's out of reach, don't worry. Then you're gonna do, the step thing is you wanna include that. So you never get in the habit of, you know, throwing your shoulder forward. Okay, here you go again. So remember, when you're doing exercise like this, when you're standing square, it's trying to make you not so confused and just isolated to think about your hand, mm. arms, how you should get the arms right. What is that? Oh, that's my motorcycle. <laughs> no. no. Okay. This is the beauty of uh, Wang Chun. It really, you know, uh, it pieces, like, uh, like I said, you know, um, it, it's bits of information you're learning. Bits, 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 and slowly you make it into a bite. Hmm. Right? Yourself. So this is what I'm doing. I'm so all the pox out drill, for example, you know, when you're, you're learning to throw this arm, go straight, come down and bring it up. That's your uh, concern. You park the same thing. You're going to go here and bring it up here, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Then later on, then when you have this handy, then you can start learning the leg. These are little uh, bits of information. Mm -hmm. um, whereas all martial arts start off already in learning how to move the whole body. You know, man, you know, <laughs> so much to look, you know, you have to kind of you know, punch my body, legs, and you know, twisting the hip and power. All one shot, no, you know. So you start off with first learn the mechanics, right, and form. Then you start slowly developing the power, right. Power comes from smoothness and acceleration, speed, right. It's not from you know tension. Okay, so the big muscles are. Use compression for compressional stuff. You push me, I push you, I pull you. Those are big muscles. All the other stuff is what we call the, the fascia. And these are the soft tissues. They're more elastic. And you know, that's what we're going to use. So, you saw the thing I sent you? No. The tensor greedy. Uh, when did you send it? Oh, I don't think I did. It was, uh, you're not on Facebook, right? Are you? No, well, I have Facebook. I've never on it. Yeah, that's why. Because uh, I sent it, uh, uh, one of my students sent it to me in Facebook, and so I, I just forwarded it to other Facebook guys. Okay. So it shows how a table, okay, the, a table's made out of, just with the strings holding it. Hmm. It's from the tensions. Yeah. Okay, actually, I can show you. Where's my phone here? Yeah. So that's how our, our bodies work, too. Oh, yeah, I remember. Right, the phone's here. Yeah, I didn't send it to you either, Josh. I think you mentioned it before, yeah, yes, my book talks about a uh, tensor greedy or biotensor greedy. Um, just stop this for a minute. 